Michael Ignatius heard a different result last night. I'm sure we can take his word on that. The Liberal leader is today trying to explain why some Liberal MPs voted against their own party on an important issue. Rosemary Barton joins me now from Ottawa Live. Rosemary, so what is Michael Ignatieff dealing with today? What's the story? Well, a headache, to say the least, Carol. You remember yesterday, the Liberals were trying to stick it to the Conservatives by demanding that the government be more uh, forthcoming in terms of how they plan to fund a maternal health pro uh, program, whether it was going to be contraception, abortion. In the end, the Liberals ended up losing that vote last night, and it was because many of their MPs, a handful of them, in fact, either didn't show up, decided to abstain because they're pro-life, or voted against the motion because they are pro-life. It came as a shock to a lot of people there, including myself, including the Liberals, because it was a whipped vote. People that were going in were expected to vote with the party, and there were some questions to about whether this was an indication of a larger leadership problem on Michael Ignatieff's behalf. Here's how he responded. Let's be clear. I've already answered the question. We will be dealing with this as an internal caucus matter. I don't discuss those matters outside. But the key point, the key point, people are, raising, people are raising questions about leadership. The key issue here is that this party reaffirms and has pressed with, in my view, considerable courage since January, the absolute fundamental importance for Canada to remain consistent in its support of reproductive health rights for women at home and abroad, and we will continue to do so. And, you know, Rosemary, you and I talked about this yesterday, and you remember that moment when the Prime Minister got up and said, it's not like you don't have a division in your party over this, too, sort of like a warning, so it's a double red face today. Is this debate over reproductive rights continuing today? It's over for now because it was going to be pretty difficult for the Liberals to get up in question period and ask this as the first question given the bit of humiliation, at least logistical humiliation, they suffered last night. Uh, for them, though, they still want clarity and, and, you know, the fact is that the government still has not brought full clarity to the issue, that we are still not clear on whether it is open to funding things such as abortion and contraception. So there will be some pressure on the government to still clear that part up, but the Liberals right now are dealing with the fallout of what comes from what was essentially just some really bad organization last night and they're trying to put that behind them before they get back to the actual substance of the policy. All right. Rosemary Barton in Ottawa. Thank you. Thanks, Carol.